the veggie, the fish, carnitas, and carne asada. But it's a special barbacoa taco that Chef Suni Santana and I are making today. So Chef, there's five tacos on this menu, but your favorite is the tongue. So tell me what you do to this to tame it and make it so everyone's just freaking out about it. This is one of my favorite tacos actually to make, uh -huh. just because of the, you know, the cooking process that is involved in here, which I think you're actually cooking. This is uh, from my hometown, Monterrey, Mexico. And originally it's, you dig a hole and cook it under the ground. And we unfortunately can't do that here. <laughs> Come on, we, you got a place on your I, patio and you <laughs> dig a hole out there? No, that um, would. That would yes. be like talking about street tacos, dig a hole in the street. That would be <laughs> awesome. That would be great. We just, uh, you know, steaming it for about 20 hours and then we unwrap it. And that's what we are left here. So let's go back 20 hours. Suni warms the banana leaves over an open flame to soften them and release the oils. Chops the leaves, then places clove, garlic, bay leaves, and a sprinkle of salt, wraps, then wraps again for the slow cook, and then it's ready. Leaf tongue has an outer uh, yep. layer. You yeah. want to cut it open. Okay. Just here. Right here. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. And we're gonna be using what I love the most here, this part right of the of the uh, okay, tongue. So we're just gonna cut it open okay. in half. Right here. Yep. Oh, come on now. Knife, don't fail me now. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. There, oh, look at that. And now that's the goodness right in there. Yes. And we're just gonna peel off. Okay. The outer skin. This is great, oh my god. And we're just gonna chop it up. That's it? Really fine. Okay. All right, we're good. And then what we're gonna do, actually I'm just gonna sprinkle a little Pitch bit of salt. salt. Oh, I like that, do that again, man. that go. is cool. Let me, yeah, oh, yeah, maybe. But you don't wanna, okay. you don't wanna over salt it, but that was good, I like that. A little that bit more, good. it's fine, okay. it doesn't hurt. There you go. And right. then, the same, same move. Okay. Go ahead, go for it. Whatever you get is what, you, there you go. Okay, I might need a little more. There you go. See, I, I, I didn't spank it hard enough. I gotta get it down there. Okay. <laughs> and so, so we're gonna go around the, around this the bend one, again? Yeah, with this one, I like to heat it with a little bit of uh, this salsa. salsa first. Salsa rojo, the roasted. And then I like to do uh, go backwards with this taco. So we go salsa, onions. Okay. What does that do? Cilantro. Why do you so go backwards? This one, what I like to do is we get a little bit of spiciness okay. when you bite into it, like on the on the bottom of your palate. Yeah. And then the acidity is gonna go on top. Okay. You know what I mean? So you it get does. two salsas at the yeah. same time. The tongue like, is rich. It's very, it's very rich. rich. And so that's, that's the heat. It yes, cuts it, down it's, it cuts it down. And then also the tomatillo, the acidity of the tomatillo is gonna oh. cut. Then you want some lime. We go back for the lime. All right, chef, and once then, again. This is your favorite one, right? This is one of my favorite ones. We're yeah. about to find out why. Yes. Cheers again. Cheers. Mm. Oh. That is moist and delicate. I mean, it's almost creamy, it's so good. Yes. That's why I said tongue is like the pate of beef. It is, yes. I mean, it's, I mean, it's very, very nice and uh, it's rich and creamy. Right. But with the, all the, the other components, it cuts down on the richness, yeah. you know? I think it's just me, it's really, really tasty though. Really good. It's so good right now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Chef. You, Sitting on Roosevelt Road in downtown Phoenix, Taco Cello is the realization of Suni's dream of opening a taqueria. With the support of Chef Aaron Chamberlain and the creative work of Genero Garcia, he's built a chill place to spend an afternoon. So Chef, tell me about the name. Where did it come from? The name is actually a uh, name after, after my mom's. Mm -hmm. So her name is Consuelo, her nickname is Cello. Okay. So I already had the name, you know, in my in my head, you know. It's part of your dream for this. Yeah, because one, one day, you know, we're thinking, oh, okay, well, what's going to be the name of the restaurant? You know, we lay down a couple names and I said, well, what about Taco Cello? Plus, I always wanted to name something after my mom. So well, you did it. No, it's a beautiful name. Tacos, why tacos? I mean, you could have done anything. With your talent, your skill, your background, why did you uh, do tacos? Tacos, that's something that, you know, I always wanted to, to, you know, to do ever since I was a kid. I would spend time with my mom, you know, my grandma in the kitchen. One day I'm like, why don't I just do tacos? Maybe not for the rest of my career, but. Oh, please don't say that. You gotta do tacos <laughs> forever. After what I tasted uh, today. Well, I have to tell you about tongue. So I had it when I was very young and I was so horrified by that experience. 
Okay. Until today, I had your tongue. I mean, I'm okay. telling you, it was the most beautiful thing. Thank it just you. Just melted in my mouth. Thank so. you. And, and just the way I see tongue is like a piece of brisket, you know, yeah. as the lean piece of you know meat, and then the fattiness, you know, yeah. the other half of it is just what the juiciest. Yeah. Once you mix them together, it's just really nice. So, chef, everyone talks about street tacos, street tacos. Tell me, what are street tacos? Obviously, you, your tortilla has to be. I think it's 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 the most important thing of the taco. Yeah. But you know, what you put on it, it has to be just uh, nice and greasy. Sometimes you know, like people get scared because oh, it's a tracker, it's very greasy. It should have the fat on it, you know, in my opinion. And that's that's what, that's what the lime's for, for the fat. Yes, and then you just <laughs> cut down. And then a really a very very good salsa because the salsa is is the soul of a taco. Uh -huh. you having a really good salsa can be mild, can be picante, uh, but I think it's just finish everything off with the salsa. And that's what a you know very simple street taco. Nothing fancy once again. And then from there, just about having your style of how to eat a taco, you know, just always the pinky on top. <laughs> oh, <is it? laughs> and then You're kidding. Oh, that's, we get it. that's I'm the try way. That right now. If it closes, just the, the old saying in back in Mexico, if it, if the tortilla closes all the way, it's not a good taco. So you have to it has to be a fatty taco. Okay. Your pinky up and then eat it, <laughs> and then that's how you eat a taco. I'm hearing around town that this is the best fish taco in town. Go for it. Okay. This is a little different. It's got a little pickled red onion, or is that pickled red onion? It's a pickled red onion on top, and the fish is battered nope. with a little bit of uh, chile morita. Uh, dressing mm. on it. Oh, I keep, I gotta get my pinky out. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now that is street tacos. I love it. 